Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today's stock is going to be Tesla. We're going to talk about Tesla. I just did a previous video on Nile. If you want to go back and search it on our website, you can find it there. You just hit this little icon right here and it'll take you right straight to our videos. And you can go ahead and start pulling up some of these old videos that I've done. And I like to do a two hour session on the weekend. So I usually put out a notice in Stock Twits and on Twitter, let people know, hey, I'm going to do a two hour session. And it's usually a session where I do a little bit of teaching, plus I'm able to go ahead and take some of your tickers and talk you through them. But for right now, we're going to be talking about Tesla. I love Tesla. Tesla's my favorite EV car company. It's the leader of the pack, as I would say. And I've just very, been very excited, especially after yesterday's run. Today I'll be using Trend Spider Platform. And we're going to pull that up right now. And I got it set up. Let me see what kind of time frame. I'm on daily time frame right now. And as you can see, we had a, a, a double top. And yesterday when we closed or before yesterday, the day before, let me go back here to an hour, hour time frame, pull this back, we had another double top that we had to break, and we finally broke out of that last week, so she's got some real good momentum, and we closed yesterday with an ascending triangle, and that would be on the daily one minute, and I'll kind of draw this up for you and show you what it looks like. I'll squeeze this out a little bit here. Get rid of some of this here. Let me see what I hear. We had a hammer before anyone. Yeah, we called this hammer down here. Remove this text. That's what good thing about Trend Spider. It has the capabilities of of uh let me see, room all. has the capability of telling you if, if we had a morning star, kind of like a hammer, and she had a real nice breakout. So we followed this trend all the way up, and then she pulled back and hit that 200 yesterday, which I thought was very impressive. We called it out in the room. This is my 200 SMA on the daily one minute. I always use it for a support level. There you go. You got your first lesson. Put that 200 SMA in there, and if you have real nice breakouts, a lot of times... They'll pull back to that 200 and bounce off that 200. I mean, a lot of times. The percentage is very high. And then I also have my 50 right here. So we did have a double top. And I'm going to go ahead and draw a trend line at that double top area. Let me see here. We'll just pull it in. Magnify this up a little bit. That double top is right around... We'll just go ahead and put it right here for now. It was around 695 is what we had to break, but we did get a high up here of right around 696.27. That's going to be our new resistance. After hours, I'm going to pull up. They don't have pre-market. Uh, Trend Spider does, but you can always pull up your other platforms and watch the tape. Right now we're at 694. And this is that ascending triangle that I was talking about yesterday. Let me show it to you here real fast. We'll pull it up on the five minute. This thing right here. And then that's how we closed again. I think kind of right in here we had another one. So I'm thinking we're going to bounce on up. But we need to consolidate, pull back, and try to find support. But here's the ascending triangle. You, when you have higher, higher, uh, higher lows, and then you just kind of go straight across with a horizontal line where she finally squeezes out and breaks resistance. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And it happened pre-market. And they started buying into the trade, and right then you knew it was bullish. So you got to try to find the support where you think that thing's going to pull back to pre-market right into the opening. And she went ahead and pulled on back here and started seeing some patterns of reversals. Now, this is a really was a good run yesterday. And I'd like to see it kind of consolidate, pull back, and bounce back up and break a triple top. That's the kind of game plan I want to look at. So we're going to draw some more trend lines on here on Trend Spider. Go over here to the left. Hit that little icon. And then you try to find support levels. And I'm finding one right in here. Where we had this kind of double top right up here and then right in here. But I'm going to go ahead and pull this right down to here. That's where the 
support level is going to be at 694.20. Then I want to find another one in here. And that's going to be right up in this area. Right about in there. So I'm going to go ahead and draw one right. And see how it bounces out over here. Looking for places of consolidation. Anybody, everybody that knows me, they know that I've been doing this for quite a quite a while and I have what I call an extended trend line method and I try to find supports resistance levels and pivot points and then we got the final one and this could be right down in here we could have a little bit of gray channel and I'm gonna go ahead and put another one right there that's gonna be like the second second support area that I'd like to see hold bam well that ain't right I'll take this off Remove this one and try it again. Right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and color this in if I can. I want that to kind of be the little second support area. Then I'm going to do one more. I want to have one more in here. That'll be my third, and I'm going to go to the bottom of this trend right here, right around the 691. That's where I need to really kind of see it hold today. And we'll go ahead and jot that in here. Bam, right there. 691.83. And then the final, where this began, where we had this nice little candle breakout here, then engulfing candle. I'm going to go ahead and put another support line right there. I'll just draw this on that body of this candle right here there we go and then it always count on that 200 to be your support level on the daily one minute and if you're looking at the daily one minute if this thing pulls back to that 200 that can bounce off that 200 and that's that would still be a very bullish pattern if it did usually you have a lot of bears in here fighting this stock so you got to keep that in mind when you're trading this there's just People convinced that this stock is overpriced, which it, you know, in the old days, the fundamentals, it could be. But this is running on technical analysis and momentum. And there's two different things right there. I'm not a fundamental trader. I'm a technical trader. I like to, to have the chart and the market tell me how to trade. I don't really, I mean, I pay attention to the fundamentals, but not that much. I do pay attention to the money flow. As you see, I got the money flow index down here at the bottom, and I can tell if the money's coming in it and out of it. And I can also use the Thinkorswim platform and watch the tape. And that's another indicator for me how the money is. And on this chart too, I also pull up the level two and I always keep that news alive because I want to keep in the now. I want to always be in the now with this stock. And a lot of these stocks are running with Bitcoin and stuff too, so keep a good eye on Bitcoin as, you're, as, as we're trading here. But let's go ahead and pull this back up to the, uh, the Trend Spider part chart and call this trade out. And you're going to have little places in between, which I call a pivot point in a channel, like right in here. So let's go ahead and draw another support line right there, and this I think we'll about have her done right here. We'll just bring it up here to the right. I want to get right on that body of the candles. It, the wick doesn't mean nothing to me. It's the body of the candle that means everything when it comes to strength. Let me go down just one more right there. Right around. Nope, that ain't right. See? I know what I did wrong there. Like I said, I gotta get used to this a little bit. Here in a few months, I'll have this thing packed down pack there we go okay so right after hours right now let's go ahead and pull this chart up one more time we're at 693 and still up there at that at that area where we want to be right there at 695 so we're still looking good still looking good I'm going to go back here, this one here. This is what I want to call the trades off here. I'm trying to get used to this. So we've got 694, 693, 58 where we are right now. And if we drop any lower, we could probably see it go down to around six, 
So 690 at the lowest, 691.83, or it'll bounce off this 200. Now, if it starts and doesn't hold this 200, and we have like a sharp down tick, it, and we see some kind of confirmation on the side, which I mean is candles or the news, this thing can retrace back up pretty fast because there's a lot of people that are bullish on this stock right now, and that's Tesla. I want to wish everybody a great day. Always remember, we'll have the link down below. We're affiliates with TrendSpider. Go ahead and sign up if you like for the free trial. But please use our link. Hit that like button if you like this video, and I'm going to be doing a lot more of them this coming year. They're going to be short and sweet and clean. Hit that subscribe button, and always remember, I love stocks.